and welcome back to the real Jack Army. As you can see, first of all, I am not wearing a swan top because I'm very superstitious. Whenever I wear a swan top, we always tend to lose. So that is out of the way. So today it's West Bromwich Albion who are facing the Premier League just around the corner. Oh wait, they're actually not, are they? Because they've dropped down the tail. So sorry, West Brom fans. So on today then. Fighting for a playoff place. Oh, no, we're not, because we're actually 17. That was last season, sorry. So today, I'm joined by a Baggies podcast and West Brom fan TV and one American supporter and so far one Swansea City supporter. So I would like you to know, um, I would like you to tell me how much of this video do you watch? Do you watch? Do you like this content? What other content would you like me to give you on Swan City? Like stats, analysis and everything. And yeah, just comment down below in the comments and I'll happily read them. Don't forget to go on Twitter for weekly updates on everything from Swan City to Wales football to other teams. Um, the recent events in Ukraine and everything that's got the world talking, obviously. Um... You know, lead sacking Bielsa, that's, uh, you know, Spygate, you know, what happened? He was spying on Swansea City, so that's uh, something. Will, will he come to Swansea one day? Who knows? Who knows? So don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this video. We're currently on 112 subs. I'd like to get to 130, 150 by the end of the season. So stay tuned for Baggy Podcast, West Brom Fan TV, and one American West Brom fan. And so far, one Swansea fan. Could have another one later. A pure FCFC vlogs if he um, gets the video in on time. Because he's always late. I'm only joking. So, thank you so much. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Swansea win. Going out on the limb here. West Brom have been shit recently. They've only won one game, I think it is. And they've lost the rest. Or drawn one, I can't remember. Don't really care. Come as Swans fans, don't really care. But we beat them last time 2-1. I'm going to say 2-1 again. Um... Jake Livermore for them if he's playing, because I can't remember. And for us, Patterson and Piero. Yeah, so come on, Swans! Hello, it's Louis Bent here from the Baggies podcast, which is a podcast talking all about West Bromwich Albion. I'm here to give an Albion insight ahead of Monday's game uh, between ourselves and Swansea City at the Hawthorns. It's a big game, of course. We know that we, we lost to yourselves last time out and you really you know exposed what was under Valerian Ishmael, a really high defensive line and, and we've been in some pretty poor form of late, but that's not really down to Ishmael because obviously he's left now and we've got Steve Bruce in charge uh, who hasn't started particularly brightly as, as Albion manager. He's had four games in charge so far, lost three and drawn one. Uh, it's not been a pretty sight, to be honest. We've seen a lot of poor performances since he's come into the club. I wouldn't necessarily lay the blame particularly at his door. I'd probably blame it more on the players, but it's been really poor of late and uh yeah we, we're in desperate need of a victory and we, we do hope that can come on monday night but obviously we know from facing you guys um over the past uh, of the past season obviously in, in our reverse fixture that you guys are no mean feat and obviously you you could have won by quite a few more really because you really ex as I said exploited that high line but yeah I, i'm not feeling confident ahead of the game i do think that you, you'll be able to to really halt us and and continue to, to pile on the misery but uh, in terms of prediction i will go for uh, a one all draw. I'd just love to see a score again, to be honest. It was our first goal in, in five games in the last game. So, yeah, it was nice to see us get a goal. But, yeah, I'm not particularly com confident ahead of this one. I wouldn't be surprised if you took all three points at the Hawthorns. But, yeah, I'm hoping that we can we can put in at least a much more improved and, and passionate performance as to the one we saw um, capitulate against Middlesbrough. But, yeah, all the best for the rest of the season. Uh, and thank you very much for inviting me on. Hello, everyone. So, West Brom away. Tomorrow night, Monday night football. Can we pull back from that horrifier at Sheffield than I did? I think we can if Martin will play his players in the right place. And I'm going to go for a 2 2 draw. Alright, guys, Connor from West Brom Fan TV here. Cheers for having me on the channel. Um, it's going to be a tough game for us Monday. We've been in awful form. We're barely scoring any goals. We haven't won in so long. I know that Swansea sit in 17th position, which is quite surprising because they've got a good squad. But I'm going to go with a 1-0 Swansea win. I'm going to say Joel Piru to get the goal for Swansea. Um, I just can't see us winning, to be honest. I, I can't see where our next win is going to come from. 
but cheers for having me on the channel um, and good luck for the rest of the season after Monday. So hello to everyone on the channel, thanks for having me on once again. Uh, this time I've been asked to give my thoughts ahead of West Brom away. Um, I will be attending the game, it'll be my third away day of the season following Bristol and Derby. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think we're going to win to be honest. Um, West Brom aren't great at the moment, neither are we. I can think I think it's going to be quite a low scoring game, but I'm going to go with West Brom and Chelsea and nil, Swansea City 1. Goal scorer Michael Obafemi, so yeah. Cheers Good morning everyone. from your favourite South Florida baggie. The upcoming match, Swansea and West Brom. My predictions, my prediction at the moment is that I just, we just want to survive this match and actually score a goal or two. My prediction is, is that we go with Andy Carroll to finally get off the skid and score his first with us. And it's for it to be a 1-1 draw. I hope it's a great game for everybody. Boing, boing. Monday night, under the lights, you've got West Bromwich Albion versus Swansea City. I've been asked to do a score prediction. We've won 1 11, scoring very few goals. Swansea are below us, however, they did beat us at their place 2 1. I just can't see many goals being scored tonight. Um, I want to say West Brom win, however, you've got more chance of a draw and Swansea win. I'm going to go 1 1. I think that's the most goals you get. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,